Okay, so I had. I mean, I can't deny it. I I really can't deny it, but. <laughs> I had an amazing dream and uh, I can't deny it it's still here everything because you wake up well you wake up and then you're like a same little bit surprised about things, okay? Oh, I never understood that uh, I will go out of the window. Oh my god, damn police here, fuck that shit. But anyhow, oh, well, I could technically lie here for a change, but I did that one. Okay, because for a long time I haven't looked at this anymore. It says, burst delivery job. Yeah. Birth delivery job. Then it says head injuries. Uh -huh. I had this. I had definitely a birth delivery trauma. I would say I had a trauma simply by meeting the wrong person. And since I met the wrong person, I'm constantly in a form of a trauma. Head injuries, well, yeah. I fall. I fell down once because of a f damned bee lady. Uh, two ladies I had to run down. Uh, paralysis. Oh my god. Was I blocked in that dream? Because I'm gonna tell you a dream. Okay? But before I'm gonna tell you a dream. I'm sorry, you do have to read this to the very end. Paralysis. Uh huh. So, kind of blocked, okay? And then we have in uh, death cases. I, 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 I think I had three death cases in between people who worked uh, in my cases, but let's add now Bobby to it. Because uh, Bobby is definitely a guy I uh, worked here with. Mm -hmm. Car accidents because uh, two lawyers and another lawyer. Uh, it's pretty pretty hardcore, uh, kind of. No, since I'm here in this fucking house. Well, what else do we have? Whiplash. Oh my god, was I whiplashed by? But I mean, economically, of course, psychologically, of course, and then it's not like it's over. Damn shit! I'm in the middle of it. Then injured children. Oh, here we go. Injured children. By the way, up there, it's me. It's, it's me. It's me as a monster. And that brings me to, to the artist, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, you, you know, I'm in there. Let me, let me just, just pose the shit a bit on my stomach because, uh, you know, I don't wanna suddenly turn it off. I wanna tell you that about the dream, okay, so. Today I have to do a little bit of a talk about art in some hours, of course I have time. <sighs> so I was dreaming 
and now here comes a dream. I'm I'm sorry. It's a kind of a <coughs> sorry that's uh, gas, but at least it's not injured children. It's not whiplash. When I was in jail, I fought lots of people who didn't even look at me. I apologized. Anyway, mm. I didn't get killed now. I experienced the death cases of others. Uh, aha. I mean, I'm still in shock and all if you really think about that shit. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. Anyway, it's supposed to be neon. It's beautiful. But anyway, I forget about it. What I want to say is that I just want to say that art is beautiful. Uh -huh. But it's damn fucking obnoxious to be an artist. And have wrong people around you. Wow, what the fuck is that? Look at it. It's, it's, it's a mirror. Huh? And then what this stands, it's a the patent expired family. What the fuck does that mean? Empire of Pan. Ah, whatever. Uh, well, I, I should watch my language. I'm, I'm aware I should watch my language because I was dreaming of, I'm sorry, it's a, almost a Me Too film, but I was standing there next to a student. Uh, I mean, the student was obviously a, a high, not a high school student. I mean, a student who is like definitely older. I mean, it was in a, uh, an art student, okay? An art student I was standing next to her and it looked like we had an affair, my God. What a nightmare. I mean, what a beautiful dream, what a nightmare. But kind of people knew it and they accepted it. It's kind of weird. But then I went all the way upstairs to hide it kind of had a little bit of a, uh, you know, it wasn't really clear. I mean, there's no sexual act. The only act that was sexual was actually mental, but there was a kind of, uh, you know, I mean, there was a kind of uh, a little uh, boner problem, a dick problem, you know, it was like kind of big and then kind of wasn't completely clear can that now be expressed directly in that way or not. And really enough I left in a dream. So so this is this is really just a dream. By the way, I speak to my shrink today, so I mean I could technically tell her the the dream, you know. I could already start calling people here now for uh, mental evaluations, but I have no money because I realized the psychiatrists don't want me. I called at least two, I have two left, but today's only Monday. So I'm not calling anybody left, I mean back right now, because they're all, uh, they're all booked out, taken, they're not interested in that shit. Anyhow, so, and then plus what they do is just give you medicine. I don't need any medicine. And I'm not forced to have it. So, you know, I, I have two, uh, two women on the list, by the way. I'm still going to call them. Concerning, okay, back to the dream. I go into into the attic or whatever that is, I go, really, I climb up. I go into a house, I'm in a house, okay? So I go all the way up, I go all the way up, 
And then I come to a very beautiful space at the Arctic. And that's a space that can only be a university uh, kind of a space. It is it's kind of a weird room because it has so much space that it is definitely a place that you more likely find only in an institution, in a schoolhouse, wherever, in not, like nothing that is. Okay, so now let me talk about a guy who works with Franz West, who is a framer. He just bought a schoolhouse. I remember that guy. His name is Brodar, by the way. He built himself well, he bought the school out. That's why there was a bath in it. Damn shit, he had a swimming pool in his own house. I mean, wow. He definitely belongs now to one of the wealthiest people. And he still worked as a framer. And all he did is selling artworks and people went crazy over him. Because he owned so much and then there were fighting over everything and then it became really, really obnoxiously complicated. And he had just so much artwork there and he had works of mine, he still has works of mine. He has them, I mean his collection, at least he has them. But he doesn't sell them because, you know, after all, he knows. I mean, what does he know? What does he really know? He knows that I am an artist, that he knows. He knows that I'm not dead yet. Hopefully he knows that one. start I like to hear the beeps because that means I changed the not the code I changed simply the battery four dollar fifty or three dollar fifty a real expensive batteries for three dollar fifty my god is that expensive when you have no money but uh, technically speaking it's nothing because I owe what tens of thousands of dollars to the city of New York in fucking Texas that means when will they pull the shit out under my ass here and then the question is, what do I do with all this shit here? That would be a disaster. I'd be a homeless. And not only that, I wouldn't even know where to go. Which is basically the equivalent of a homeless. That would be traumatizing. All my shit go where? I'd lose my, I'd lose what? I'd lose so many things. But I have to stay here for another fucking at least five to how many damn years? Eight years. And by then, I need to have a solution a little bit. For my debt payments. When you have no money, that shit sucks. In the meantime, everywhere I look, I see fucking damned art that simply doesn't sell. That simply shit.
that simply is damned annoying, obnoxious, disgusting, and well, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, fucking damn shit. Covid, by the way, is still around the bed. And I heard this, uh, talk about these people that are doctors, you know, uh, physicians that are actually very modest and they say things like uh, that the virus is not necessarily really over in the sense that is. It's like viruses just don't go anywhere in a weird way. It's not like the virus just goes, bye-bye, I'm done. I take my bag and I go back to Mars. No. Viruses mutate. And from a purely, let's say, Biological, let me fart a bit, sorry for that. Okay, guys, uh, because, you know, I'm also an in and out person. I put fucking shit in and f- digest the nonsense. And then the nonsense is going out. So in and out. And that's kind of like what happens to life. You, you arrive here, you you do a little bit your thing and then boom out and then wow, hundred years are over. In my case of my father, it was like 88 years. And then a little bit of, uh, you know, there's some wars and some, there's some replashes and some trauma and some injured children and some car accidents. He was actually an insurance, insurance guy. I mean, technically speaking, before that, he was a, a salesperson. Did you just tell me the death of a salesperson? Well, that's why I didn't immediately just study fucking uh, philosophy. That's what I wanted to tell this lady. I talked in Italian yesterday. A lady who showed up and she had no children. She had, was married to a disco, a German. And something went bad. She wasn't happy in LA. By the way, she has no clue about New York. I mean, what's her problem? She stayed all her life in California, Italian to come here, contact me via dating apps, and then act like a moron, meaning I had to see her films, I couldn't see even anything. She forced me to see her films about getting old, about Peter Panis, about not having children, about an old actress with her like you know, dancing thing, and she didn't pay something. She told she was so damn fucking cheap. Now she has even more debts because she's at Columbia University. And she tells me how to do things and how to be relaxed. And then on her pictures, she looked so much better than in actuality. But I wouldn't even mind that one. I don't even give a shit. I just happy, would be very happy to have a friend. Because, you know, sex is a very, 
a very fast scene, you know, in the end. Not really true. At least, she came briefly in, she gave me a lot of shit here. You, know? you have no idea how much shit I got from the lady, Italian. But they won what? They won the VM Weltmeisterschaft College Show. They won the game. So last night before I fell asleep, took my time, just the way I take my time to tell my dream about, well, about sex. But there wasn't any sex in there. It was about hiding in a weird way or being obvious about it or about you know sexual organs and then I was going up in this house very uncanny uh, very uncanny architecture so I was at the attic I climbed in from all above and then went down and I had to handle my down and it was like Shit, do I ever, can I ever get out of that shit? I doubt it, but I was kind of, it was beautiful, the architecture, because you could see the beautiful studio from an, from above. You could see that. Yeah, damn shit. That's a dream. But then I have nightmares that are real. So let me talk about a whiplash. Nightmare whiplash, okay? Reality. And remember, COVID reality, COVID man, COVID woman. What else we have? We have injured children. Because they're not injured yet. I mean, they are a little bit. Definitely be blessed by the trauma. To not have a father who can educate him. A son and her. A daughter called Edgar Canales. A daughter Canales. Because Sunday is taken away. At least that 60 minutes talking time. Now the shit show is reduced. The educational shit show is reduced to... Wow, to fucking what? Two children sitting there with the bitch mother watching over the conversations. Meaning, I'm not really too interested in talking about that shit. And believe it or not, this fucking house here. Uh, by the way, four floors consists also of damned, damned, damned many floors, plus a mess everywhere, shit everywhere, artworks everywhere, damn crap. A testimony to what? An insanity. An insanity clause. A whiplash clause. Uh, a death case. Three, by the way, as I told you. Case. A paralysis of sorts. But paralysis is not what we want to have. Stasis is not what we want to have. I don't want to be parked here forever but why not I don't want to experience paralysis no way but I also don't want to be expropriated that's a nice term be 
because well again go back we have here on this work alone burst delivery trauma by the way you're supposed to get neo burst delivery trauma meaning I definitely had that I definitely had kids with the wrong person. No doubt, totally. It's so damned. A reality now, a traumatic reality for me, for the children. Because I want to see whether they can handle the shit down the road. And even if they can, they have to damn wait a long time. Before I'm gonna hand them over shit. Which means in between I am going to have to use my own damn fucking money to survive. And I'm always incredibly Yeah well I mean enchanted enchanted uh, in I would say in love literally in love with art with art I could talk to and then I know that some people make so much money with it others a bit less but a lot of them have regular income. And I just know from my own experience, kind of can't pay my shit. But what I can do is, well, hope for the best. <sighs> well, you know, promote my own shit. Whatever that is. Cases. Loads of cases. Kids. Man. Loads of cases. Anyhow. I realized quickly if you have drawings, well, they are drawings. Great. The advantage of drawings is, yeah, guess what? The advantage of drawings is, uh, that they don't take any space. But when it comes to to paintings, they that shit takes space. Not only that, that shit costs a lot of money. Take the stupid wood into consideration. Oh my god. It's kind of not so funny. Well, and then why does size matter? What the fuck is it? For a little bit of fuck. That people fuck up for a little bit of fuck when the suspicion and the jealousy and the care and the money and this and that well anyhow 
got very suspicious very suspicious between us it was very suspicious between us from start one sex number one oh uh, yeah very suspicious because there was when I met the mother of the kids and I have been a virgin for a long time because the mother of the kids holy crap that bitch holy crap That damn shit. Well, what happened is that that damn crap did me in in every regard marked me suddenly as a father in that case with her it marked me as uh, too even I thought have too so it could be easier down the road lose one have a second one at least because I do realize that the people are damn different disgustingly different and in the end well good luck It's a question who lives longer in the end. I guess I'm thinking now again of of who of Paul Klee. I think of this guy up there who helped me to get back back into painting. Well who helped me, who taught me, who really helped. scares the shit out of me. On the other hand, my new paintings who gives a shit. They just have to look good. They just have to be uh, really appropriate. I mean, no mistakes. Meaning the interface that comes with them. I can take even more time because it is just a Monday. I, I don't want to give up my day, supposedly. It is like supposed to be stormy and raining and a depressing dog, 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 dog day. I saw recently this couple in Santa Park. And for whatever reason, she, whatever she did, she hugged the tree. That was a, that, 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 that was a film, Tree Hugger. I saw about loneliness and shit, but, well, uh, I would feel better if I had better people in the fucking house, like upstairs. There was once this amazing woman here. We watched films and then I'm curious what happened to her, whether she still is her boyfriend, whether she comes back to New York. God, 
was I kind of thrilled to have that that energy around me. That was in the beginning of my ordeal here when literally the entire shit show came down. When I was fucking kicked out of the fucking house. When this lady, I mean, I can't mention her name. When this particular lady fisted me. And, well, I don't mention her name. No way I mention her name. That is definitely whiplash. And she explained to injured children the meaning of it and paralysis. She is so not paralyzed. I am traumatized and paralyzed and dejected. And death cases, three. And as recently as, you know, when I was even really surrounded by, by people who uh, I shouldn't have been nearby, that's for sure. Nobody understands even what I'm talking about because I'm going to look for this psychiatric evaluation shit. Should I? Do I have to? I better do look for it. I make the call. Because in the end, there are gonna be faces in life. There's a childhood. Some people lose childhood. There is Europe. Some people are Europeans and Americans. There is America and there are some people are a Jewish New York or are Catholic, uh, whatever, Midwest or New York or Boston. Or some people, by the way, uh, there's a woman who I really appreciate, Carrie Green, just, you know, believe it or not. Well, Boston, she is. Yeah. Is she? Boston. Or is she? I think she's Boston, Catholic, not Jewish. But we are talking about galleries. Now, I don't stop it hard, but to see people, oh yeah, I don't lose appetite. I love people. I am social. I tend. to make friends with people. I even tend to watch my weight, weight watchers, watch weight. I, 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 I currently have the perfect weight, 72 kilos on 77. It's like a body a body weight index that's just uh, would say okay pretty good could be better <laughs> uh, was I not earlier this year even 69 because then I got a little bit scared but then I had another guy to talk to I mean he's gone he does now feel the lady I met yesterday does film. Then the other one showed herself a poet, by the way. 
unbelievable Italians, three Italians I talk to currently. Not a single, yeah, that is Mario. She's married to Dora an entire life. But there was an earlier case of a misstep. So he does have a son. Oh no, chi perde? Un po'. Wow. The Dora lady and, and Mario, they, yeah, it's so damn good. It's so, uh, damn good. I'm going to gratulate them on what? I gratulate them on, on, not on Capri. I gratulate them, not on Sardinia. I gratulate them on, not easily Doria. I gratulate them on Calcio. Their squadra ha vinta. Un'altra volta. Yeah. But penalty. Of course. But winning is winning no matter what. And the English Fanculo. With the Brexit their attitudes. Their flash is on. But art making pretty cool. Losing, well, you know, I'm so sure Massimo de Carlo sold artworks to people from the football world because stars a lot of money. And they are so bored with shit. And the fate can turn so quickly. I would say they are fatalists. Or fatalists. Uh, because I do remember, according to Astuni, that one of the Spanish football team stars, like David one from the you know, the big ones, the big clubs, the big whatever. A big one. Whereas I am called big in the street, but I have nothing but a paradise and nightmares at the between 9 and 10 on a Monday, the day after the Italians won the fucking World Cup 2020, by the way, even though we have 2021 because of fucking COVID. Sorry for the effort, bitch. Sorry for the B in bitch. What even does that word mean, bitch? I think, I think in my case, it's definitely an expression of a feeling, a feeling of not having been, well, treated nicely, supported nicely, because whatever they do with me, I am here. I could have worked the shit out better. I wanted it better. And damn shit, where am I now? I mean, who wants to spend an entire damn life litigare? I mean, I litigate. I don't litigate. I hate it. I hate it. And to litigate, to recuperate money, 
from families that inherit so much shit money from me. Forget about it. Forget about it. Those cases, forget about it. My house is so full with them cases. The last one is painful. I also get shit. And I really wonder how people get away with shit. Why is the entire world getting away with shit? Why I can't get away with shit. But not only can I not get away with shit, I don't even have sex with my students because that would be, that was in the dream, that was really kind of at least an affair or something. That was like really beautiful. But I woke up and I was shocked. And then, sweet at least just only a dream so you don't have to be even for it but I don't give a shit I I sorry for the S word sex shit stamina stipulations by the way that's a legal term then you know the mother of the children had the nerves to call me on a Sunday and say, hey, give me, give me all the papers, give me all the information, the documents about the Austrian citizenship of my fucking beasts, those morons that are now called children, that are the losers in a game of throats. I never saw that shit, by the way. But I just imagine it also about fights and nonsense and the good and the bad win and, and, you know, it's Hollywood, so whatever, fuck. But I know what the losers are. The losers are my children, but the losers are all... I mean, I'm also a loser. I might maybe hopefully otherwise, otherwise prevail. Oh, yeah, I mean, I might. I mean, it's for sure a chance that before I die, <laughs> let's say at very old age, <laughs> and fuck that shit, I'll be, uh, I'll be damned what? I'll be damned condemned, obviously, to, to what? To, well, use my salary, which I do early, by the way. But I mean, there isn't so much left of a salary, an art salary. I mean, my art service is so damn low, but let me just be clear. Today I know galleries open, but this week I might definitely go see galleries again, art. Because art is consoling and then I had this idea to make some extra cash also pay for all the morons in the house because at least uh, that's in itself a replash I lose in court because I talk about money I lose in the eyes of the public because too crazy my dreams and nightmares to tell them in a Nomine Freganiente style, Italian style. Too traumatized to only speak about me because I actually uh, tried to talk and describe others. Like in the case of this uh, filmmaker from Columbia University with a lot of dads who come we see now from California to study here, but there's no clue, just exactly the same shit like the woman the women's, the mothers of the kids, that husband, that transferred from California, Seattle originally, but then California, no, Seattle is not far from California, uh, internet, uh, Microsoft lab guy, Reardon Thomas, one more time, 
wow, with this media lab, gives a million dollars away, nobody knows it, that he was, but it's in the document. Why, I ask her, I send, okay, I send you. I send you the stupid documents. Why don't you send me your divorce papers? Would the bitch do that? No. Because the philanthropist, the billionaire, by the way, works on his next shift. He doesn't have stasis, nor do I, because I paint. I continue paint, I can change styles, and then, you know, believe it or not, I call this a film. I don't even go to fucking Columbia University. Film department, what the fuck? Uh, running up debts, I mean, I'm done. I'm satisfied, overwhelmed, if you want, with my own fucking debts here. I'm indebted, indebted to my own biographical walk down, by the way, because you know, like, how, like let me let me just explain how all the the Chinese and the Japanese count because I can do that one also. I've been learning Chinese as of recently, but I think you saw it like what a glove, and you saw a drawing. Because in a weird way, everything here had to be reconstituted one more time, and people say just clean up the shit. Well, clean up, haha. <laughs> Why should I clean up? There's nobody who yells at me, except me, my uh, stomach yells. I'm not hungry, darling, no. My teeth hurts, oh yeah, always in for it. Ah, uh, concerning artwork, showing, oh yeah. I never refuse anybody. And come to my VG's uh, studio visit. Oh yeah, maybe I should sleep another round. Because all the people who live free in his house sleep also. You know, what the fuck? What will happen to me? down the road. I like life because I can talk. I can talk what? Nightmares and dreams, beautiful scenes of houses. I go, so one more time, sum up the dream, go all the way up to uh, the topic, Film down because this is my first film of the day. An archive I was definitely writing yesterday. I need to. Aha, uh -huh, 53 minutes to Catena Pasqualino, who is uh, one of my early love affairs, Italian Palermitana. And she studied uh, in that school. Where I was a photograph, I saw her, I went there, I kind of messed it up with her. It's called Sios Po. Or Sios, you know, it's really, you know, it's in Paris, actually. Damn, did I waste time in Paris, learn there. And she took diploma after diploma while I was an artist. There. At least I was a connoisseur, I was a sadikatif. I love to go there. We met once there. I was so naive, I wanted to fall back in love with her anymore. Again and then. Well, there were the other options. But I realized early that I always felt a bit out of the place. I was always out of, out of shape, out of luck, so to say. Always a bit in love, always a bit broke my heart. Always a bit happy, always a bit like forward looking. Always a bit on the 
move always a bit change your style that was the time we thought all was still alive what a damn fucking beast to just kill blow up those people who protect the environment holy crap he got away with it and then there is the Mitaro woman here in New York. The aunt. Well, Laura Mitaro, by the way. I haven't seen her for a while. I'm sure she works for some fabulous institution, but the guy she dated at the time, at least the circuit she frequented, and then all the other ones from Long Island, whatever shit. I still don't know what happens to my early, early opera. Where the fuck is it even? Why can nobody find it? It's in the Pompidou. But it's shit, it might get lost. That cannot be the case. That should be the case. I want a copy. They cannot just lose that shit. I want a copy. Maybe I should write that. Give me a copy of my early artwork. Send it. There's an OLV who worked there. There's Amadou Ba. Amadou Ba. Work with me at the Konasazi Brothers Adekrativ. Why don't you just write them a little letter today and ask to get a access a copy of it? They should have one. I made artworks there. Or did I make it there? Crap, I might have. I mean, they should have it. My early early damn electronic artworks I need so desperately. Holy shit. Because while leaving the NFT square only to people like Kenny Schechter, why don't I get my early artworks? I have to write them in Vienna and really figure out what's going on. 58 minutes is enough of this I don't want to be a Rousseau here what the fuck I'm just a stupid artist a loser a damned nightmare of a guy who just suffers institution godly precious can't say speaks about car accidents I met one in there that he was so on drugs and drunk he didn't even know how he made it to the car he woke up in jail from the Bronx a guy just paid all cash my god you know how he makes money don't even ask who he sells what anyhow it's not his car by the way <laughs> The mother, the poor mother lost all the points. Anyway, I mean, I'm just, uh, well, I stop in now 59 minutes, 24 seconds, nothing by, by me, Raina Canal, an artist, by the way, canal.info.